Hello everybody. As you know, Easter is just around the corner. It's just a few days away. And today I have a reminder and an encouragement for you. Jesus was great. And he was great not for what he possessed, but for what he gave away. In fact, he really didn't have anything in the way of possessions while he was here on earth. And when he was born, as it says in Luke chapter 9, he didn't even have a place to lay his head. He was born into a borrowed manger. In his adult life, he traveled around. He had no home, had no address, and he slept everywhere and anywhere, inside and out. In Luke 5, we see that he had to borrow Simon's boat to give a sermon. More on this in just a moment. On what we now recognize as Palm Sunday, Jesus rode in on a borrowed donkey, as was prophesied. Soon thereafter, he was carrying his own cross, he was nailed to it, and he died on it. Yet, he was not done borrowing. There was one more thing that he needed to borrow, a tomb. He was in that tomb over a span of three days. Jesus paid the ultimate price on the cross and borrowed the tomb for three days. The man owned nothing, did not seek riches. He was humble, loving, and true. He wanted nothing and he paid the price. So what was he buying with that price? He was interested in purchasing only one thing, you. And he died on that cross. He paid for you and me with his life. He gave it all away so he could finally say, mine, mine, you are mine. And in return, we get to say, I am yours. And now I want to return to Luke chapter 5. After preaching a sermon, the sermon on S Simon's boat, Jesus asked to go fishing with Simon. And Simon was exhausted from an unsuccessful night of fishing. But when Jesus went out fishing with them and they pulled in their nets, they brought in so many fish that they felt their boats were going to sink. And when Simon saw this, he knew something was up. He turned to Jesus and said, Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. This was an important lesson for all of us, especially as we are approaching Easter. I think Simon represents many of us in his discomfort and fear of being in Jesus' presence. Because Simon knew he was a sinner. He felt unqualified, unworthy, and incapable of being around him. However, the fact that he felt that way is proof that he knew of God. Yet he had more to learn, as do we all. I think there are many people within our circles of influence who have the same challenge as Simon. There are many who are uncomfortable coming to church or being in God's presence because they feel the exact same thing as Simon. They feel they are sinners, unqualified, and unworthy. But that is good news. That is proof that they have the light of Christ within them. I share this to encourage you. This week leading up to Easter, there are without a shadow of a doubt, people who you know, who know God, but have done the same thing as Simon has tried to do by telling God to go away. Because they are uncomfortable and feeling shame for their sin. I encourage you to invite them lovingly and prayerfully. Remember, the invitation is one of the ways you can partner with God to create the conditions and opportunity for these people you know to find their way into the loving arms of Jesus. I imagine you may be thinking of some people right now. Take that action. No judgment, no assumptions, just love them. Jesus died on the cross so he could say, you are mine. Let's invite others with the hope that they will soon say, Jesus, I am yours. Thank you and God bless.